Welcome to day four of the boot camp challenge. I can't believe it, day four. I mean, I hope you guys are taking notes. We are giving you guys so much value in terms of these funnels right now. It's unbelievable. But again, we, you know, if you don't want to wait for another couple of days before you can get everything, you can click on the link to five funnel program. We've got everything in there, plus advanced, plus the basic. We take you from basic to advanced with four. So some of you guys who are already advanced, we take that and we take it to a different level. Okay, so today's funnel, day four. I can't believe we're in day four already. This is day four already. Right, so today's funnel, we're gonna be talking about how to get people from LinkedIn to your webinar. This is very powerful stuff. If you're looking to um, you know, sell something of high ticket, webinars are perfect for that. If you're not doing webinar right now, you should be doing webinar. And as part of the funnel program, actually, we actually give you a um, deck and the things you need to include within a webinar. For, for those of you who have not got a webinar before, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give you this little pack to help you go create your webinar. But if you do have a webinar, if you're doing webinars, if you're thinking of doing webinars, this funnel is going to interest you because we are actually this. These are the funnels we use to drive people from LinkedIn into. Uh, to a webinar and I do this for my clients. I've been doing this for my clients for a long time. Some of my clients have a lot more connections than me, like 10,000, 20,000, and they're able to drive some of those people to their webinar each and every week. Now, it doesn't mean if you have 500, you can't drive people to those webinars. With the engagement that we're showing you, you can absolutely do that. But I'm gonna go to the Bible right now and I'm gonna explain the whole thing to you. Now, the next thing, that's the first funnel. The second funnel, I'm going to talk about today is the who viewed me when someone's viewed you you got to do something about it and that's what I'm about to show you now on the whiteboard I'll see you there welcome back and in this funnel we're gonna have two funnels we're gonna talk about the top one is the webinar funnel okay and the bottom funnel is the who viewed me funnel okay so I'm gonna focus first on the top funnel okay now um, Let's start from this side where it says a two week engagement. They've connected and you've gone through a two week engagement. So by the time we get to day one there, they already know you, you've engaged, you've done the videos, you've put out articles, you know, we teach you that on the course, by the way, the link to 500 program. We talk about this type of engagement in more in depth, but let's assume you've done that engagement for two weeks, okay? but you want to send people to your webinar, your high ticket webinar, okay? So what we're saying here is you make an announcement that you want your connections. Remember, you've got thousands of connections. Let's assume that. You've got that, that's what we're teaching you. We're trying to get you to expand your connections. So by the time you get to this point, you have a lot of people engaged. They know you, like you, and they trust you, okay? So you make an announcement in day one. You know, you send a message, on the news feed, you say, hey guys, I've got a webinar coming out. Um, it's gonna be about A, B, and C. Be there, clear your schedules. It's gonna be a really good webinar. This is what you're gonna learn from the webinar. Your normal announcement, day one, okay? One day before the webinar registration, you make another similar type of an announcement, okay? So you're trying to drive a lot of your connections to your webinar. Remember, you've, the key of this thing is you've done uh, a lot of engagement. So they're trying to get a lot of people to actually come onto that webinar, live webinar, okay? Then, let me just move around a bit. <laughs> <clears throat> then the day of the webinar, again, obviously you drive, you make another announcement and you drive people to your webinar. This only works if you've done the engagement correctly. That's what we're teaching in, in the funnel program. These are the type of things we're trying to get people to your webinar, to your website, to build your list, to make high ticket sales. Now, it doesn't stop there. At the end of that funnel, you see a thank you page, okay? A thank you page is gonna have a video to say, well, thank you for registering for this webinar. Um, this is, the, these are the sort of things you gotta be, uh, you, you do before you, you know, before the webinar goes live. So you have another video to entice the people to come to the webinar. You might give them a gift. You might tell them to do one or two tasks this helps more people register for your webinar. Okay, so that's the top funnel, guys. You know, that's really powerful stuff. It does work if this is working, this engagement piece. Now, 
Let me talk about this piece, this bottom piece. This is, there's no, there has been no engagement. Okay, you've just connected to an ideal prospect. They're ideal prospects, okay? And you haven't gone through any sort of engagement, but they are your ideal prospects because you, you've connected with them. If they looked at your profile, but you're gonna send them directly to the registration. And how are you gonna do that? So they're connected with you. You're gonna send them directly to the active registration. Um, for those ones who are active and available, you will send them straight to the registration. So you're gonna go, when you connect with new people, for this is for the new people. You connect newly and you'll see which ones are active. And you just start sending the guys who are active to the registration so that they can register as well. I want you guys to test these things out. Don't just assume just because you didn't get an engagement, no one's going to go and register for your webinar. I have found through my testing, through my niche, that this engagement works really well for my you know, webinar registration and I can make sales. But I have also found not equally as good as this one, not equally as good as this one, but I have also found that when I connect with people newly, as long as they are tight in terms of they are um, really targeted to my niche, I do get some, not most, some people register for my webinar and they take action at the end, okay? So that's what I wanna talk about there. Okay, that's the top funnel done, okay? Hopefully you understand that. This bottom funnel, I wanna talk about a strategy that we're using to get people to engage with us, okay? So I'm gonna assume, again, you've registered, you've connected, okay, you've connected. There's been some sort of engagement, you've known them for a month, maybe two months, three months, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, now you're gonna message people. When you message people, um, they want, some of your prospects are gonna view you back. They're gonna view your profile back. That's one thing great about LinkedIn compared to other social media sites is that when someone views you, you, you can actually see, you can actually see who is, you know, see the last people who viewed your, your message. Now this is an opportunity, this is a great opportunity to communicate with those people, okay? I think LinkedIn's given us this um, opportunity for us to continue with the engagement, to continue with the relationship building. Now, if someone's viewed you, most people do not actually respond back. But I think you should respond back with the appropriate messages. Now, we do have over 70 messages within the Link to My Funnel program, okay? And we have um, some messages specific to who viewed me. So if someone's actually viewed your your profile, we have specific messages that you can tweak, of course, and send back to your to your prospects. So the strategy is you are going to view other people's profile, view your prospect's profile, okay? And some of them, prospects will view you back. They will view you back. When they do, you wanna send them messages. You definitely wanna send them messages. You wanna you know, say, hey, I was only viewing your profile because you know I can see in your profile A, B, and C. Obviously, you've done a bit of research. Doing this, I'm getting a new conversations, engagement going on, and then I can, I can, after this type of message, I can actually talk about my webinar and say, look, I've got this webinar. It's a free webinar. Go check it out. When they go check out my webinar, I'm telling my story on my webinar. I'm giving a lot of value on my own, lots of stuff away so they get to know me even more. So that's all part of the engagement. And some people are then going on to buy some stuff, but it's all about the relationship building. This who viewed me is so powerful. You go view your prospects, they view you back, but now you pounce. I use the word pounce, but you're gonna communicate. You start that conversation going. This is very powerful stuff, guys. It really, and we've got, we've got specific messages for who viewed me. We've got over 70, I mean, we're increasing that all the, all the time. We're trying to really test these messages all the time. But within the funnel program, we do have uh, messages for this as well. So those are the two funnels, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna know more about this, these are the type of strategies we're teaching in the funnel, um, the link to my funnel program, which you can see below. These are the types of things, if you wanna uh, join us, you will see the rest of the, uh, if you don't want to go wait for the next couple of, um, you know, <coughs> the bootcamp videos, 
you can you know get access to those uh, today. So see you next time.